Welcome to this Christmas edition of PBC Talk. What the heck? Merry Christmas! Oh. Go and get away from the camera. No, 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 newspaper. I like the pretty camera. No, go and get away. Ah. Tony, stop wiggling. Ah. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Where's P. Shooter and Walnut? Yeah, remember that time we decided to take over PBC News? Uh, yeah. Well, this time we're taking over PBC Talk. Ah, uh, newspaper me, matey. It's called Plush Talk, not PBC Talk. I don't care. I'll just call it whatever I want. Oh boy, I can't wait to talk to newspaper on plush talk while I'm bouncing on his head. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Coney, stop it! Oh great, now you freaking broke my jacket. And this is why Captain Boltbeard doesn't wear a jacket like the other zombies. Hey guys, look at me. I am Senior Button Nose. Who dares to fight me and my awesome button nose? Coney, knock it off. We're here to talk to other plushies, not just me. Also, you're gonna be paying for a new jacket. Should they newspaper or putty old pal? Don't touch me. First off, it'd be that dolphin zombie that newspaper didn't believe me that could fly. And I still don't believe you. If newspaper doesn't believe in Captain Bubblebeard, I don't believe in Captain Bubblebeard. <laughs> well, you guys are about to be proven wrong because here is the flying dolphin now. Here I am. Wait, where's Pea Shooter and Walnut? Oh, they're at home with their families. Don't worry about it. Oh, you see their newspaper? You see? The dolphin is flying. Wires. They are not wires, Dolphin Zombie. Please tell this newspaper that you can fly. Yes, believe it or not, I can actually fly. <sighs> See? I still refuse to believe that you're actually flying. Look, matey, she's a flying dolphin. How is that hard to believe? Captain Bowbeard, a flying dolphin is very, very hard to believe. I still refuse to believe that a flying dolphin... Coney, what are you doing? Yeehaw, right in your grandma. Get this freaking zombie off of me. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Coney, stop it. No way, newspaper old buddy old chum. This rocks. Ah, 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 you see that, Coney? This is why we told you to stop. Yeah, because nobody hijacks a flying dolphin. Oh my gosh, you are not flying right now. Dude, I am flying in front of you right now. Yeah, newspaper, you gotta actually believe it because she's flying in front of you right now. I don't care. I still refuse to believe in the fact that a dolphin can fly in the air. Hey, Flying Dolphin, can I hijack you again? No, you cannot hijack me again. Oh man. Well, since Coney wasted a question on that dolphin, I'm going to ask it a question. And what question would that be? My question being a Christmas question. Why is newspaper asking a Christmas question? And why the heck am I upside down? Because it's a Christmas episode, Coney. I'm going to be asking a Christmas question. Wait, why are you upside down? Magic. <laughs> Did he just oink like a pig? Yes, I did. Oink, 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 oink. Coney, knock it off. Sorry. Oink, 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 oink. Can I please just ask the Christmas question? Yes, go ahead and ask. Please. All right, what kind of Christmas present are you looking forward to? The Christmas present I'm looking forward to is the beach ball Christmas present that I asked for. And I'm hoping it's the beach ball with those stripes on it. Because last Christmas, I got a beach ball and it didn't have stripes on it. Ark, and why do the stripes matter on the beach ball? I just really like to have stripes on my beach ball, all right? There's no real preference for it. All righty then, Coney, do you want to ask a question to the dolphin? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, I do want to ask questions to the dolphin. Do you like to go ho 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 with the Santa himself? What? What? I said, do you like to go ho ho with the Santa himself? Um, no? Well, you're just ho ho horrible. Coney, that question was ho ho horrible. And why is ho ho hoing with Santa a ridiculous question? Because we don't know what the question is, Coney. What is ho ho hoing with Santa? Well, ho ho hoing with Santa is me putting some tape on newspaper when he's not looking. Wait, what the? Coney, why the heck did you put tape on my jacket? Because I was ho ho hoing with Santa. So I could ho 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 put the tape on your ho ho jacket that I ho 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 broke. Coney, knock it off with your ho ho hoing. I scream like Charlie Brown. Ho, ho, ho. Can I leave now? I can't stand this clown. Yeah, you can leave. Thank you. Bye, golly. Thank you for talking to us on Plush Talk. Newspaper, I cannot believe that you didn't believe me in the flying dolphin. Even when the flying dolphin is right there in front of your eyes. Well, I still refuse to believe in a flying dolphin. Even if it's right in front of me. It sounds ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Whatever. Hey, newspaper, what is it, Coney? Say hi to Mr. Octopus Hand. 
Coney, stop. No, I do not want to say hi to Mr. Octopus Hand. No, Coney, leave. Ugh! Hey, Mr. Octopus made you do the Charlie Brown scream. Hey, cut the bubble beer. Would you like to say hi to Mr. Octopus Hand? Army Coney, get that octopus hand out of my face! Ugh! It looks like Captain Bubblebeard went. Ugh! Shut up, you stupid clown! Thank you so much, Scrappy. He was really starting to annoy us. Yeah, and me too. I had really bad experiences with octopus back in my pirate days. Now, since I shut up that stupid Christmas clown, why don't you guys start asking me questions? Sure thing, Scrappy. What is your favorite thing to do on the Christmas holiday? Spending time with my family. I have a wonderful wife and a cute little kid. And what kind of Christmas present are you going to give your little kid? A clown punching bag. Wait, what? You heard me, clown. You're going to be a punching bag for my little kid. Oh, great. I get to be the punching bag on Christmas Day. Whoopee. Coney, do you want to ask a question? Yeah, I want to ask a question. Why the heck am I a punching bag for your kid this Christmas? Because you're the right Christmas gift to give to my son. Besides, my son just loves punching clowns as much as I do. Really? Your son likes to punch clowns too? Yep, and he wants to punch you in the face so hard. Ho oh, ho, I can't wait to see him do it on Christmas Day. Uh, Luigi Pan, if you're watching this video, is it too late to go up to the North Pole and tell Santa to cancel Christmas? Please? Ice beam punch! <laughs> Ow! I will not let a clown like you cancel Christmas for my kid. Well, too bad. I'm going up to the North Pole right now and telling Santa to cancel Christmas. You can't stop me! Oh, yes I can, clown. Extreme speed punch! <laughs> Ow! Hey, clown, look at that. I got you a Christmas cage, just for you. Gee, thanks. Oh, that's a nice Christmas gift you got for Coney. Hey, newspaper old buddy old chum, can you get your best friend Coney out of the cage? No. Anyway, Scrappy, do you like to go Christmas caroling with your family? Yes, I do, but anybody who tries to throw snowballs at my kid is getting a punch in the face. Can I throw snowballs at you, kid? Shut up, clown! Ow! How in the heck did he punch me from inside the cage? Me matey, I be asking you where you got the Christmas cage. Actually, I got that Christmas cage from Mackinac Island. It's supposed to be a cage for your phone, but I thought it would be a better idea if I used the cage for that stupid clown. Well, if it's such a great cage, then why the heck do you not put the lock on it? Well, clown, it's because I didn't really need to use a lock for that cage. I just wired that cage up with 10,000 volts of electricity. There's no way you're gonna escape from that cage, you stupid clown. Oh, really? Just watch me. Huh? Ah! Ouch. Alright, that's enough Christmas questions for you, Scrappy. You can go now. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta take this clown with me. I have to give it to my son as a Christmas gift, after all. No, 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 I want to stay here on Plush Talk. Newspaper, please save me! Hope your son likes the Christmas present, Scrappy. He's going to have a lot of fun punching that clown on Christmas Day. Thank you, and have a Merry Christmas yourself. Wait, guys, no, please, save me. I do not want to be a punchy bag for his son. Come on, clown, let's go. No, 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 I don't want to go. Oh, screw it, I'm doing the Charlie Brown scream. Ugh! Hopefully that's the last time we ever have to hear about the Charlie Brown scream. Yeah, I'm getting really sick of that sound effect, to be honest with you. Well, since Coney is gone, now we get to go to our next person. Wispy Woods. Hey, he's from the same channel that we're from. Yep, and you bet we're going to ask him some Christmas questions. Thanks for having me on Plush Talk, you guys. No problem, me matey. It's the best that we can do. Now, on with the first Christmas question. Oh, right, so the first question is, did Zora and Hypnoshroom try to use you as a Christmas tree? Well, no, those two tried to put makeup on me. Why did they try to put makeup on you? It's because the two really, really like me. I mean, they get up close and show affection towards me and everything, and, uh, yeah. I guess those two really like a talking tree. Do you like them bad? Because I've heard you actually protected them in that one fight where Hypnoflower and Zombos wanted to use your wood to burn down the plants in non-plant space. Yeah, I basically protected them in that fight. They even blocked projectiles to save the little two. I mean, they're just kids after all. Who would shoot a kid, honestly? Or if you would, would you be a babysitter for the two? Well, if Luigi Van says once Eternus wasn't there to babysit the two kids, I'll be there as a babysitter. How does it feel like to be the easiest boss in Kirby? It feels bad. I wish I could be a more harder boss for Kirby the fight, but no, I have to be the easy boss. Well, me matey, that'd be all the questions we wanted to ask you. So you can go now, Wispy Woods. Thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome, Wispy Woods. See you two around. Okay, who's next? Well, Hornet is next, but we got a lot of people to go through. 
Oh shoot, that's gonna take forever. I know we made it, but we just gotta talk to them. I got it. Why don't we do a lightning round where we ask them one question each? Really? Yeah, and that one question could be a Christmas question. And then after that, we can wrap up the episode. Okay, me matey, but if the people watching this video start commenting that this video is too short, I'm blaming you. Don't worry, I'm sure they won't do that in the comment session, right guys? Right? Anyways, time to start a lightning round. On it! Yes? What's your favorite Christmas song? Silent Night. Okay, you can go. Thanks. Meow. <laughs> do you like to eat roast beef on Christmas dinner? Meow, meow. Okay, thank you. Next! <sighs> Twilight! Yes? You like Christmas trees? Yes? Okay, good. Next! What kind of question was that, me matey? I don't know, I panicked on a spot because it was a lightning round. Okay, next! Okay, Wedding Peach. Yeah? Did you get married to Bowser on Christmas Day? Sally, no. We actually got married on Valentine's Day. Okay, good to hear that. Next! Ugh, rude! Hey, we're in a lightning round. What do you want me to say? I expect you to be a little bit more kinder. Just go. Okay, fine. Our metal letter, go. Let me guess. You're going to ask me about Christmas music? No, I was going to ask you if you kiss anybody under the mistletoe. I kiss Hammerbro on the mistletoe. Really? You kiss Hammerbro under the mistletoe? What? He's my boyfriend. No offense, metal letter. You dating a Hammerbro is very odd. Oh, whatever. Can I go now? Yes, I forgot. We're in the lightning round. Go, 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 go. Okay, thanks. Arr, Cinder, come out here. Yes? Do you ever roast chestnuts on an open fire? Yes, and they're delicious. Okay, good. Next! <sighs> Alright, Susie, go! Uh, yes? Has any of your kids been naughty this year? Well, no. They might cause trouble a few times, but not all year round, so they're on the nice list. Okay, good. Next! <sighs> okay, Blaze, come out here! <sighs> yes? Where'd you got the jacket? Jacob, what are you talking- Oh, you mean the yellow shirt? Well, I actually got it from Luigi Man's Little One Disabow as a Christmas gift, and it was wonderful. Oh, that's nice. Next! Ugh, rude? Why do these people think I'm being rude? We're in the middle of a lightning round, you know? Why well, yeah, come out! Ow, I bit my tongue. <sighs> yes? What is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, it's gotta be the Polar Express. Oh, that's wonderful. Next! Ah, rude, you're not invited to my Christmas party. We're not being rude! We're just in the middle of a lightning round! That's all! We gotta rush this! Right on, go! Uh, yes? Do you decorate the Christmas tree? Yes. Okay, you can go. <sighs> Izzy, come on out. Ah, uh, yeah? Do you like getting Christmas presents from your mom and dad? Yeah, I do love getting Christmas presents from my mom and dad. And I don't want you zombies taking them. Ow! Ow, what was that for? I wasn't gonna take them. <laughs> Calm down, little one. We're not gonna steal your Christmas presents. Yeah, all right. I don't believe you. Ah! Oh. oh, man. We didn't even get to finish the lightning round. Psst. Easy! Mom? Izzy, what the heck did you just do? Mom, those were zombies. I thought they were going to steal my Christmas presents. Izzy, those zombies were not going to steal your Christmas presents. They're from Luigi Van One's channel, and I think they got Christmas presents on their own. Oh. Sorry. And thanks to you knocking them out because you thought they were going to steal your Christmas presents, I can't be on the plush talk show. Because both of those guys were knocked out. Sorry. For that, you're not going to open up an early Christmas present. Aw, oh, man. Come on, little one. Let's go. Ugh. <sighs>